you got days that you just quit. We all do. You got dog words, but that's why right. you're not here. You're paying a superior opponent. Take the night. Uh -huh. take the night. Yeah. Your night was protecting the rook. Oh, oh shit. You fish. You're playing a superior mind. No, 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 no. That's not true. That's that's been worked. Everybody says it. No. <laughs> so it must be it. true. Wow. Nobody says it. You'll still have to win, but I mean, you could have done it so easily. I mean, it's Caesar. Come on. Just make a salad out of it. I don't it. know what that is. Never. Is that why you're standing up? Don't. Don't go to the wrong place. I never seen him quiet. He didn't say any word. Till oh the time God. ran out, he goes, "What? What happened?" Nice move. <laughs> Carlini, quiet. It could happen. There have been worse things. Just what I would have done in case you had any questions. I dig it. Only a man would play a move like that. So what are you doing, Caesar? That's a compliment. No, no, sorry. Winning by me. Why am I so good? You're not good. Everybody says I'm good. You're not good. No, then the king comes up. It doesn't really do it enough. I'm just just so you know. What? What do you want me? What do you want out of me? Guess what I would have done, maybe, if I was drunk in the sword belief. what I would have done. Let's see, how can I uh, make it more interesting here? No, that's less interesting. No, that's about, that's about right. Making me proud, butcher. Is this considered an end game? I can't talk about it. Okay, I didn't get that last one. No? It's deep. Same thing. used to be freaky. Tricky? Whatever. Yeah. That's the mistake. I should have came here before. It's complicated. I'm a complicated kind of guy. Yeah. What? You're complicated? Yeah. I don't think so. I can be. No. What the hell was that? I don't know. Thank you. You're Why do I have to do everything?
Just what I would have done, Butcher, if there's any question. Uh oh, he's doing the, strip, the sleeve thing. Get the pieces out of the way. Careful. It's mayhem. <laughs> I like it. Thank you. Very good, actually. Thanks for asking.
Tough game. Wow. Tough game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, who's up there? Yeah. You got it. Thank you, thank you. Hey guys, Brian here. Hope you enjoyed the game. New guy, Afghan John, is a fighter, man. Duck had him absolutely squeezed in the corner here and just managed to uh, fight back and escape. And wow, just at the ending position, Duck was just up a pawn. Um, I mean, it was a winning position for Duck. He just has to grind it out. But um, but John was really, really fast on the clock there at the end. Um, Duck had more time than John, but John just kind of was blitzing and um, came down to the wire, man. So nicely done by John. Good fight. And Duck, man, he had an absolute monster attack. And in the analysis, we're going to go over how Duck could have closed out the game. These attacks are not easy to find, um, but they're really, really cool. So we're going to go over them, and um, one of them is really, really cool. So uh, I hope you guys find the um, the answer to that because uh, it's a very, very cool tactic. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you love in the comments below. If you want to get Duck a cup of coffee, his link is in the video description. Check out all the other cool links in there as well, including the Amazon links to chess gear. There's our merch links there, shirts, cups, and um, other stuff. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss future videos. All right, so in this position, um, queen h5 was played. Let's go move back. Pause the video. will be another move for white here. All right, white can play the sneaky move. Uh, knight takes f6, and this could be one continuation. Bishop takes, bishop takes, um, h6, queen h5. Rook e7, you'll see why that rook is coming up. Bishop g5, rook d8 attacking the uh, bishop. Bishop takes, pawn takes, queen takes, rook over. Um, notice a lot of pressure here. G takes, rook takes, queen takes. And when the dust has settled, um, white is up the exchange with uh, some pawns to spare. So. Could have been one way to go. Um, but let's go. I want to show you something cool here. I think, is it this one? Let's see. It might be this one. Yeah. Okay. So in the game, uh, rook b6 was played, and then duck plays bishop e4. And then <laughs> John commented that the rook was hanging, and duck said, No, that's too easy, man. <laughs> so let's go move back. Pause the video. Uh, obviously, you guys see the first move, right? Queen takes, and. Uh, bishop back. Okay, so from here on out, uh, how do you close the game out as white? Pause the video, see if you can find it. All right, starts off with bishop d5, doubling up on that bishop. Black says, no way, man, I'm going to um, offer the trade of queens. What do you play as, as, um, as white here? Play bishop d8 yes block block the trade queen takes queen takes rook b8 and if you are an absolute boss what do you play here i mean any normal human being would play queen takes rook right but if you want to be an absolute boss if you want to be a coffee chess grandmaster win the game in style what do you play here as white <laughs> yes you play King g2, lift that king, baby. Rook takes queen, check, bishop block, rook sack, and mate. Wow, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. What a boss move that would be if that happened, man. That would be awesome. <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys that cool mate there at the um, in that position. Um, let's go here in this position and in the game... Uh, Queen h4 was played. Let's go move back. Pause video. Will be another move for white here. I'll give you guys a hint. You got to load up the gun, baby. You got to load up the gun. All right. Starts off with rook h4. And uh, black does not really have a lot of options here. I mean, what is he going to do? Not a lot of stuff to do. Um. Not a lot of options for, for black, so let's say um, black plays knight c4 and tries to get that knight back in the game. Now you play rook, yes, load up that gun. And I always forget with Alakine's gun, if it's the queen in the front or the queen in the back, um, I'm pretty sure it's maybe the queen in the back, so. 
but this is a very very big gun nonetheless um and what is black gonna do i mean not a lot of options this could be one way to go um tries to escape but and white will offer a turtle up try to get some pieces to trade off but um it's just gonna be too much the swarm is too much here and Set not made in one. White's gonna try to, uh, I mean, black's gonna try to delay it, but black says, Get your ass back <laughs> so I can mate you. And yeah, so, <laughs> so yeah, that would have been another way to go. Load up that gun, load up that gun. And um, let's see here, uh, I think John pointed out the rook check. Yeah, the mate was here. So um, only move is king up and this will be mate and only way to stop it is just delay the inevitable but yeah nice pawn controlling the escape scores for the king <clears throat> and um, I want to show you this really cool end game thing here uh, in this position it went from white plays rook a8 let's go move back pause video this is a nice end game trick to keep in your back pocket what do you play as as white here All right, play rook check. Okay, let me attack your rook. Now what do you play? A7, yes. Pick your poison. Which one are you going to go for? If king takes, then obviously check. I mean queen, so going back here. Um, this just delays the inevitable, but just want to show you guys. I mean, yeah, white's just going to roll these pawns down. Nothing really black can do at this point, and so... Yeah, that's uh, so a great game by Duck, man. Just uh, the trigger was there, but it's hard to find the trigger and pull it. And John is a fighter, man. He was cornered at the um, <clears throat> at the end here, and uh, just came back to fight. Blitz uh was blitzing really fast at the end, and yeah, it was just like one pawn advantage um at the end after all that. It's crazy, huh? So. That's it done, John. Great game, Duck. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. And thanks. I'll see you guys later.